right, and welcome to Overlapping Action. And here, we're going to add a little bit of life to your animation. Uh, because with Overlapping Action, everything does not move at the same time. Generally, you use Overlapping Action for secondary motion, but you can use it for all kinds of things, such as tails, clothes, hair, fat, uh, and other limbs as well. Uh, like arms or legs that sort of drag around, you know, if you have a, uh, a very springy character. And also, you know, things like tongues and other things. So I'm just going to give you a few examples uh, from scenes from the Big Buck Bunny film uh, where I used some overlapping action to add, you know, uh, a more uh, life to the scene. So here's a shot with the uh, bunny. And, you know, as you can see here, it looks from the left to the right, and then he gets hit uh, by a nut, right? Um, so you'll see, uh, if I zoom in on him here, you'll see I've used uh, overlapping action in a number of places. So as he uh, looks from side to side, you'll notice that the ears are delayed and move uh, later than the rest of the body. And they sort of have a, a sort of a an overlapping action and a little bit of a drag behind the rest, and that adds a lot of just extra extra rigor and life into the character. Now I also want you to to focus on the fat as he moves here from the left to the right, and you'll see that the fat sort of just kind of uh, shakes around in his face as he moves very quickly, and that uh, you know also helps to make him feel more uh, alive and more squishy. And as though, you know, he's made out of, uh, you know, yeah, it becomes more fleshy as well. Um, so this is one example of where it's used uh, quite a lot and it adds, you know, uh, a lot of extra life to the scene. Here's another example uh, with the squirrel from Big Buck Bunny. And here he's running from the left to the right. And I want you to just uh, look at how I did the uh, tail. It might be um, interesting. Uh, and as he, he goes from the left to the right, the tail just kind of follows the rest of the body uh, behind him. And the way I did this was I used a very clever feature, which is the visualization curves, where I am able to see how the pelvis moves through time. If I turn it on here and cl click W and select... Uh, animation curves here, I can see the curves in time. And so I just more or less matched up the tail, as you can see here, with the uh, curve as it's moving through time. And that makes the tail sort of drag behind the uh, body of the squirrel as he jumps across the screen. And that's all. This should give you a good idea of how to use overlapping action effectively to make your scenes more lively. Thanks.